In the last lesson, we talked about scatter plots and how real life data sometimes isn't nice and neat like a line, but it might imply a line, a linear relationship. So the line of best fit is the line that suggests a linear relationship between sets of data. In the real world, things aren't always nice and neat. And so sometimes we have to estimate, which is kind of what a line of best fit is. So to determine the line of best fit, the first thing that you really need to do is make sure that the scatter plot does suggest a linear relationship because if it doesn't, then you can't draw a line of best fit. But if it does, you're going to draw a line through two points. Now, when I do this, I like to use a ruler, especially one of those clear ones that you can kind of see through to help me determine my line of best fit. So I put that dot, dot, dot there because you're gonna draw a line through two points, but the second step is to ensure the line follows the data trend. A common mistake that students make is to draw a line that goes through two points, like I'm gonna do it down here on this example. Now, yes, that line does go through two points, but is it following the trend of the data? No, so that's not a good line of best fit. The last thing you wanna do is to ensure there are approximately the same number of points above and below the line. Because this is kind of an estimate, there's not going to be a complete right answer, but there are definitely best answers and you have to consider the data that you're given. So I'm gonna show you, I think, some bad examples because sometimes it's good to see a bad example or a non-example to know what a good example is. I already showed you the one that went through two points here. Yes, it goes through two points, but it's not following the data trend. I'm gonna show you another bad example. Um, I can see that this has a negative slope or a negative trend and that goes through two points and it follows the data trend, but you can see that most of my points are above the line. So that's not gonna be a good line of best fit. I'm gonna do my best to draw this. I'm gonna to try to hit at least two points. If I can hit more, that's good, and make it as straight as possible. This is where a ruler for this app would come in handy. Okay, that's about as straight as I can get it. So I'm trying to hit two points here. I can see I've got about three above there and I've got about three below here and it's hitting one, two, three, four. So that's a pretty good line of best fit. Okay, on the next one, I can see this has a positive trend. So I'm gonna have a hard time hitting two points and still getting the same number above and below. So I'm going to kind of start back here on my Y axis. See that hit all of those on the bottom. That's not very good, let me try again. This is why we do math and pencil. Try one more time, I'm almost there. Uh, that's pretty straight. So you can see I hit that point at the top because that was a middle point anyway. And then I was trying to kind of split the distance between the four above and the four below the line. The next one, um, almost all of these points hit this line right here. What is that at, like 10, 12, something like that. So again, I'm not exactly hitting all of them. I guess if I made my mark a little bit wider, I'd hit all of them, but I have the same number above and below. And then this one is nonlinear, so that one is not going to have a line of best fit because it is not linear to begin with. So if I can draw a line, then I can write an equation. And as you recall, we use slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where M is the slope and B is the y-intercept. And remember that when we do this, we're gonna replace the slope and the y-intercept with a numerical value. So to do the line of best fit, it's just like if you were trying to find the equation of a line from two points. So you're first going to identify two points on the line. Hopefully you drew a really good line of best fit. So those two points are going to summarize most of the data. Then use those two points to determine the slope. As a point of review, slope is found by doing the change in y over the change in x. So a vertical change over a horizontal change. And an ordered pair has x first and y second. So you'll have your first x1, y1, and x2, y2. So find the change in the y values over the change in the x values. Just a little review there in case you forgot that. Next, the third step 
is to substitute the slope and one of your good points into the equation for the line to find the y-intercept. And at this point, hopefully, whatever value you get when you substitute that in for b is going to be whatever your estimate was. When I do my line of best fit, I don't do a very good job of it here, but I try to extend my line all the way to the y-axis so I can see if my answer, when I find it using the equation, is a reasonable answer. It's always good to have plan A and plan B so you can determine if your answer is reasonable. And then last, you're going to substitute the slope and the intercept into your equation in y equals mx plus b form. Then you have your equation for your line of best fit.